guys. Welcome back to Strong Successful Mail. So for today, I'm going to do the final, final update to the very popular video series titled My Daughter's OnlyFans Got Leaked and Her Life is Imploding. And for those of you guys that speculate there'll be more updates after the final update, you were right. And I definitely knew the story about Amber and her life going to hell in a handbasket was certainly not over. And guys, as a quick recap, as best I can here, this is the story, because it's been a few weeks since the final update, about the gal who, this, this story is written in by her father and a grandfather about how this guy's daughter, her activities online got leaked. She is a teacher, a high school teacher, as well as a mother of three children. And it got leaked, and her whole life has gone to hell in a handbasket. And this was written in by her father. And essentially, he he was a subscriber. He knew uh, all the things I covered. And the whole family has just been torn apart. Okay? And as you all recall, his daughter is an absolute 100% feminist. A modern-day feminist, making it even worse. She is a complete narcissist by all her behavior. And ever since the whole... Uh, Everything's gone to hell in a handbasket. Her husband, who rushed in to marry her and adopted her three kids, he's left. He, he's out of the picture. And now the grandfather is wondering what to do with the kids because the kids just, they're being picked on at school because it got out. And she's been uh, cut off from work. And it's a big, giant mess. And he was writing in initially looking for my help. And as you all remember, it was just one thing after another with her. She doesn't think she did anything wrong. And she's actually pissed off at the husband for leaving her. He's done with her, moving on the whole nine yards. And I've advised the grandfather that he now has to be strong for his grandkids because he's in his 60s. He's going to be retiring soon. But now he has three small children, the grandkids, whose lives are turned upside down. And they're now staying with him while they figure this whole big mess out. Meanwhile, his daughter is not apologetic at all for what she's done. She thinks everybody else is wrong, but not her. And now she's finally starting to admit that she made one little mistake and she shouldn't have to suffer for it, even though she is just a tr train wreck that brings turmoil to everybody's life. And I've advised him, quite frankly, to cut her off, to adopt those kids or take in those kids. And even though it costs you a lot of time and money because they're your grandkids, you got to be strong for them. And he's been struggling, but he's been holding on. And you guys have been great in the community, cheering him on, giving him help and all that. And now we have an update as to what's been going on next. Because when it left off, the divorce papers were about to be served to his daughter. And uh, definitely things are heating up. So, to pick up where things left off, he says, uh, hello SSM. So even though Amber's life has imploded, I still want to share what's been going on in our situation. Uh, and well, everyone's been commenting for the final, final update. Yes, because this is a story that nobody can forget, and people want to hear what's going on. I wasn't going to write this to you at first, but Mike encouraged me to write this to you one last final update. Mike is this guy's son-in-law. Mike also happens to watch my channel, and when this guy published, his, sent in his story, the son-in-law reached out to him and pretty much said, Hey, I saw your story on uh, SSM on YouTube. In my previous update, it was very dramatic, and some of your viewers actually questioned why I wrote to you in the first place. Again, I want to reiterate that I will leave out, I leave out details that are too personal, and I share these experiences with you as a tale of caution. To hopefully help someone else if they ever find them, themselves in my shoes, or if a woman watches this. To help them see the negative effects of having an OnlyFans account, to hopefully sway them from, a, from that platform. Absolutely. And I hope some woman watches this. And thinks twice about what they did. Because this woman, his daughter's actions has torn apart the whole family. And I want to point out, if you'll recall, his daughter is a teacher. A high school teacher. Okay. Respectable career. And she was the head of her department. And it got out. High school. Okay. And she's in her 30s. And if you all recall, she has, had, she has three children. All under the age of 10. I think the oldest is 10. Three different fathers. And she went off to college and became a crazy effinist. And she started doing this OnlyFans supposedly because the guy she married, Dean, good guy, Dean's his code name, was making a lot of money and she didn't like the whole she was making less type of thing because she's an effinist, right? And this poor guy, if you all recall, rushed in to marry her and all that and told train wreck. Anyhow, he says, me, Sally and Mike, Sally is his other daughter, the good daughter, I've been in contact with Dean recently. He messaged us first. 
We would like him to maintain a relationship with the kids, even if he's far away, but we're not forcing him into it. We're taking it slow, and then he could heal from all this. Do not rush Dean or pressure Dean into anything. Dean has been through hell, okay? Let him heal in his own way. And if that means he doesn't talk to the kids for a while, that's his business. Mike has also shown Dean the three videos you made about our situation. Oh boy. Dean's been wanting to post the situation on Reddit, but he has been hesitant. So seeing your opinions and comments has made him reflect and think about his decisions so far. I'm sure he'll watch this final, final update as well, but there's no need to hold back to be, or be nice. Do I ever? He said that he needs to hear it straight and clearly see what he, where he went wrong so that his next marriage won't end up like his last. He says in parentheses, he is currently trying to date again, so you can keep smacking away SSF. Currently trying to date again while this is still going on? Smack! Dean, my brother, if you're watching this, right now, there should be no dating at all. You shouldn't be looking at another woman at this point. You need to get through this awful mess. You need to divorce this train wreck, Amber, I know that's her code name here, and then seriously work on yourself and heal. And you can, brother, but right now, no dating, because you do no service to yourself as well as any, let's just assume, a decent girl out there when you're going through this whole thing. It might help you distract you from all the turmoil going on, but it's a bad idea. I don't want you to rush into something new and make another mistake like you did years ago with this woman. So just hold back. And I'm going to comment more to Dean. I'm going to address Dean personally at the end of this video here, now that I know he's watching. <clears throat> well, things have definitely changed in our household, and some, I think, are for the best. Well, that's good to hear. My oldest grandchild wants to stay with his father. He lives far, far away, and even though it breaks everyone's heart that he's leaving, especially his siblings, I think it may be the best for him. Amber tried, to best, tried her best to talk him out of it, but our oldest grandchild is adamant about staying with his father. It's funny that the oldest grandchild is 10 years old. I think probably now has a higher maturity level than his mother. This poor kid, all the kids, have had to grow up real quick. Amber then proceeded to love bomb him and even had an emotional breakdown on the phone, but I think our oldest grandchild has become numb to it. <clears throat> Keep in mind that he's only 10 years old. As previously mentioned, the father of the oldest grandchild was Amber's first husband. I had a chance to talk to him again, and he was horrified at the situation and said he was going to pick him up soon. Can you blame him? I mean, these poor kids... Because it got out, because these things get out, and they're being picked on at school. It's completely ruined their school year, amongst many other things. Not to mention their own self-esteem, self-worth. Kids don't need uncertainty in their life. They need their family to be their rock. But their mother has been not a rock at all. <clears throat> Getting over that cold, guys, so bear with me with the clearing of my throat and all that. Amber has also kept him away from his son for about four years now. Amber tells me it's because he, her ex-husband, is problematic and uh, abusive and abusive and hostile, but I don't know what to believe anymore. I wouldn't believe a damn thing that Amber says. This may lead to another legal custody battle that Amber has to worry about, and she's made clear that she will fight to keep the family together. Fight to keep the family together? Who do you think caused all these problems to begin with? Her. <clears throat> but, you know, the whole thing about women and accountability. We are really torn apart by all this, and at the end of the day, I feel so mentally exhausted. The thought of my grandchildren keeps me going, and the support I get from you and your viewers has helped out a lot. Bro, you have been through hell, and you are staying strong, so don't feel bad about that. I'm here for you. The community's here for you. Even if you don't do any more videos in the future, if you just write me personally and request, okay, no more videos, SSM, I will happily respond and give you my advice and what I think on the situation. But you're going to be okay, okay? I'm hoping the worst has been behind you, but you got to stay strong for your family, not just the grandkids, but everybody else. You're the rock. And as long as you stay calm and strong, your wife will remain calm, your other daughter will remain calm, your grandchildren will remain calm or as calm as best can be. Don't give up now. No one really talks to Amber anymore except for me. I need to be the one facilitating, facilitating having the children talk to her. I know some of your commenters have been asking me to just disown her, but as a parent, I can't bring myself to do that. 
However, I maintain a tough attitude towards her, and she has made it clear that she is remorseful and apologetic, but I don't 100% buy it. I don't buy it either. She keeps singing the blues and is in denial about this whole situation. She's acting like a child and has been crying, have been crying emotional fits every time that I bring up her upcoming divorce. She says that she doesn't want a divorce and it's not fair that her family is being torn apart without her having the chance to explain everything to Dean. Explain what? What she wants to do is see Dean and use every trick she has in her playbook to try to manipulate him to give her another chance. The waterworks, the gaslighting, every possible dirty trick she'll try to use to manipulate him to stay with her and all that. No, Dean should not talk to her at all. Dean, you're watching, do not talk to her at all. It's a bad idea. The only communication you should have with her is through your attorney. That is it. Singing the blues, poor her. She caused this mess, okay? And it's not like this was a one and only thing. She has a history of being a complete asshole, okay? I said in the first video at the end of it, I said, Your daughter is an asshole, and, and I still stand by that. Total narcissist, okay? I mean, all those th three grandchildren, if I'm not mistaken, are, are the result of three different fathers. And the first divorce happened because she cheated on the one father. I mean, it's just one mess after the other. She has a history of being this way. Think she's going to change? Come on. The last thing she should be involved with is with anybody. Okay, she is a nightmare. And I know this is your daughter, and I know this is not... Even though I know you agree with me, I know it still hurts to hear this about your daughter. <clears throat> Amber is like a broken record at this point. She keeps telling everyone that she has made one mistake and does not deserve to have her whole life ruined because of it. How about the lives of her children that she's ruining? And one mistake, my ass. I just went through some of the things. She's been begging me to bring the children back to her and help her reunite her family, but I've been firm, I've been firm in my support for Dean. She is an unfit mother. She is unfit to be a mother, unfit to be a teacher. She should not be raising those children at all. Look what she's done. What, what is she, she going to do? Raise him in the house while she's filming OnlyFans videos in the next room? Or or even if she's... I know she said she rented a studio to do it last time. doesn't matter. No parent should be doing that. It's not like she was in dire straits and had no income coming in. And that was the only thing she could do to support those kids. She had a career. Her husband had a, a well-paying career and family, okay? She did the OnlyFans because of her ego. Nothing more. Now that the oldest grandchild is leaving, she's been trying to come around our house more often to convince him to stay, but like mentioned earlier, it hasn't been working. Man, your 10-year-old your grandson is strong. Our oldest just says hey, he loves her, but wants to live with his daddy. She then begins to cry and complain, and we need to separate them. I don't know what is going on in her head. She's not acting like a mature adult, and it's infuriating because she doesn't realize that everything is her fault. Because she's a narcissist. She doesn't care. It's everybody else's fault but mine. Typical modern day effinist. She's been very emotional about Dean leaving her. Well, good. Look at all the pain she's caused Dean. She's been trying to contact everyone he knows, but none of them want anything to do with her. She even filed a police report to find him, but obviously that, that plan didn't really pan out for her. She absolutely refuses to acknowledge the upcoming divorce and hasn't even read the papers that were given to her. She has not signed any of them and has told everyone she's ready to be put she's ready to put into financial hardship if it means fixing her family and making things go back to the way they were. There is no going back to the way they were ever, 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 ever. Amber is still confident that she could talk to Dean talk Dean out of the divorce, and they both have things to apologize for. They both had things to apologize for. Dean has nothing to apologize for. This guy has been a saint. Too much of a saint. Too much of a white knight. And, and But you all recall in the previous stories, she was um, refused to talk to him until he came to apologize for her. You want to talk about gaslighting, co complete gaslighting there. Perfect example there. He has nothing to apologize for. She should be on her hands and knees begging and pleading for about seven months straight for all the things that she's done to this poor guy. Amber blames her friends. She blames Dean. She blames her newly announced anxiety and depression. Everything under the sun to blame except for her. 
again, a narcissist. She's my daughter. I raised her and loved her all her life, but she messed up big time, and now she demands everyone just to forgive her and move on. If the situation was reversed, do you think she would just forgive and move on? Fat chance. I know I've said it, but and the, the viewers have said it. If this is my situation, I would have disowned her. And I know people would say, SSM, you're not a father. You're not a parent. You don't know. No, I do know. Believe me, I know myself. I know my heart. The little heart that I have left. I've been in low contact with Amber and have essentially banned her from the house and the last incident with our oldest. It's really hard to do this to her, but like you said, I need to be this way for a long while to undo her rude attitude. <clears throat> Sir, you're going to have to be tough on her now to the day you die. Because the second you give an inch, she'll take a yard. Guaranteed. Because in the previous video, he mentioned where he laid down the law with her and miraculously, she shut the fuck up. And she got in line briefly. You have to be tough with her forever. <clears throat> You'd think after all this nonsense that she would have stopped her OnlyFans. But no, according to Sally, she's still posting her content. Oh my God. Not that I'm surprised. But good. after all this, she's still doing OnlyFans. I mean, you just want to get... You want to talk about making it easier for her to lose custody for her kids or not get her job back as a high school teacher. She, she should not be teaching at all. And I said in the other videos, if I was a parent and found out that the teacher in the school was doing this type of thing, I'd use all my influence, all my power to make sure that teacher would never teach, ever. Because no one should be doing that and influencing young minds, <clears throat> let alone raising small children. I feel a mix of embarrassment and anger when I think of her continuing to do OnlyFans. I sent her to college to have a stable career, not be an online hooker. Yeah, exactly. And this is why I said I know myself. If I, in a parallel universe, had a family, had kids, believe me, I'd raise my children in a way they wouldn't do this shit. And I'd make it clear, given the environment we're in right now, that if I'm providing you with a hell of a nice life, daughter... And this is in a parallel universe if I had a daughter. I'm providing you with a hell of a nice life. I'm raising you well. I find that you're doing bullshit like this. We're done. I'm going to send you to the streets or whatever. Send her to the streets or she belongs to the streets. Whatever the fucking saying is, that's what would happen. Because it's only done for ego. It's only done for the attention and validation. It's absurd. It's a disgrace. So for now, that's where I'm at. My family is still a mess, and we've been doing our best to just tolerate Amber. I've rerouted her inheritance to go to my children equally and left her with some of her heirlooms with a small amount of money so she could not contest it. It still feels so so surreal. I thought that me and my wife could just relax, travel, and enjoy the retired life in our 60s, but it looks like we're going to spend the next decade raising and helping our grandchildren heal. Yeah. It's not all we expected. And you deserve to have your 60s and relax, travel, have more money. But uh, look what happened. What's done is done. But you, if there's anybody that can hold the family together and move past this as best possible, it's you, sir. So keep staying strong. Amber is selfish, and I plan to cut contact with her once the children are of age. Good to hear that. You may change your mind in the future, but good to hear you saying that now. I don't want to talk badly about Amber to her children. They still love her, and she's their mother, and cannot comprehend the situation at hand. The children have been doing better, spending time at Mike and Sally's, and are playing with their cousins, and have been helping. Unfortunately, our youngest has missed a major exam, and will likely either need to attend summer school or repeat a school year once she transfers. Gee, thanks, Mom. Amber and Dean will meet up soon with their lawyers, and Amber's ex-husband is also going to try to file for sole custody. I thought that her life had hit rock bottom after this last update, but I guess not. As I said earlier, Dean might give this email a listen. He's a great guy, and I hope you and the community give him some advice for his future endeavors. Thank you for reading SSM. Hopefully, this actually will be the final update. God bless. Well, sir, for you, for your sake, I do, I do hope it's the final update. However, if more things happen down the road that you think 
will be good to uh, send in. By all means, do it. It'll be the final, final, final update. Or if, quite frankly, you're you're done with the show, but you have some things to say to me personally, you can certainly email me, and I won't make a video out of it if you request that. I respect that, and see if I can help you out in some way, one way or another. You know, because you've been through hell, and I'm gonna help you get through this. So, but like I said before, if this is the last time or not. Hang in there. Stay strong. Take it day by day. Be strong for the family, strong for the grandkids. Because as long as you stay strong, keep it cool, even though deep down inside you feel like you're just screaming and losing it, keep calm for the family. And and you're calm, they're calm. If you start to lose it, your wife will start to lose it, the uh, daughter will start to lose it, the good daughter, the grandkids, all that. And as long as you're the rock, they'll be all right. They will be... Kids are resilient. They'll get past this. But they may need, the kids may need some therapy here. But I wish for the best for all you guys. Take it one day at a time. Now, if Dean happens to be watching this video, I'm going to address Dean now real quick. Dean, brother, there's <clears throat> no sense going back and saying where you went wrong on all these things and dwelling on that with this particular woman. Okay, it's a waste of time. It is what it is. But, bro, if you are, I'm sure... Finding out about these videos and all that was quite a shock, okay? And your your father-in-law, or soon-to-be ex-father-in-law, is a good man. He's trying to take care of his family and the kids and all that, okay? Right now, you're going through hell. And you got a lot of guys out there that are rooting for you. You made mistakes in the past, marrying this woman, rushing into the thing, but what's done is done. You cannot talk to her. Okay, I'm sure you don't want to talk to her at all and that and that you haven't done so at all. That's good. Do not talk to her because, as I said in the video, she's going to try every dirty trick possible to try to manipulate you into feeling bad or something like that and take her back. Do not take her back. Do not talk to her, okay? Only communication with her should be through your lawyer, through her lawyer, or whatever. That's that. Also, <clears throat> right now, as I said, you should not be dating. You got a lot to work on yourself before you can consider that down the road. I'm not saying that's not impossible in the future, but right now you need to be focused on getting through this divorce, starting over with your whole life, all that. It's, I don't know if I can't recall if you moved away or out of the area at least, but if you haven't already, it'd be a good idea to do so because you need to be away from all this to heal. And you're going through hell, you will heal. My channel here is to help guys out, to really help guys get their shit together because right now, so many guys have been spoon-fed spoon -fed this bullshit narrative about being the nice guy, the white knight and all that, and they end up in, end up in horrible situations not as horrible as yours. Yours is you truly one of the worst I've ever heard, but in varying degrees. And I share all these stories and articles to, yes, it provides entertainment, but also through entertainment, good teaching, a lot of teaching and coaching to help guys realize if they're in a bad situation, not to make the same mistakes. That's what I do here. And guys send me in their stories like your father-in-law to help teach and not to mention entertain the masses. But what you need to do is work on yourself. Like I said, take it day by day and you will get through this. But right now you should not be dating anybody, okay? And you need to watch not just my channel, but lots of channels out there about guys really helping men get their shit together, see the reality how things are nowadays with regards to how women are, because it's an absolute mess. What you're dealing with with your wife right now, soon to be ex-wife, sadly, in varying degrees, that's not uncommon. There are lots of things out there. These crazy gals nowadays that feel so empowered, they got to do things like this. OnlyFans, Instagram, social media, wanting attention all the time open relationships, open marriages, cheating. It's a mess out there. This is why so many guys are walking away from not just getting married, but relationships altogether. That's what I do. Take it one day at a time and work on yourself, but you should not be dating at all. I would be focusing on healing, learning about how things really are nowadays and not making the mistake twice. And down the road, when you truly have healed, and I think you need to focus on getting through this divorce and focus on your career, because it sounds like you do really well for yourself, and that is awesome. Putting away money, I would recommend if you don't do it already, joining a gym, getting some exercise, you'll feel better, spend time with your family that you can trust, your close friends, and move on. And with regards to your situation here, <clears throat> I know you legally adopted those kids, and it sounds like they're awesome kids, but if it means for you to heal, you need to disappear for a while, you have every right, okay? It may not be what everybody wants, but you got to take care of you first, because it sounds like you've been taking care of everybody else but you all this time. you got to take care of yourself, bro. That is the only way. you got to put yourself first, because for what 
was described, you marrying this gal, you rushed into a relationship with her, which a lot of nice guys do, rushed to marry her, and were the white knight, as they're called, the savior. And, and, and you got with this horrible woman. But it sounds like you're in your 30s. You got your life ahead of you. I don't want you making the same mistake twice. So you need to learn where you went wrong so it doesn't happen in the future. And you will be okay. But it's going to take time to heal. Okay? And don't, there's no shame in that. Okay? And I can't imagine the embarrassment you've gone through with finding out what you did about her, what she's been doing. She is just awful. Okay? But your life isn't over. You can do it. So I'm freestyling all this. I didn't write all this down. So I'm, I'm sitting here with my coffee. I'm dying to drink more coffee here because it's 8 o'clock in the morning. But anyhow, one day at a time, you're going to be all right. And if you want to share, if you want to write me personally, by all means, email me. I'll keep it quiet and confidential between the both of us if you want to. Or if you have, you want to share your perspective, I can certainly do a video on that. I'm willing to help. Just let me know. And you'll get through it one day at a time. All right, guys, that is it for today. Be sure to comment down below. Let me know what you think about this. Let this guy know, both the father, grandfather who wrote this in, what you think about this, as well as Dean. Help this guy out. Give him some advice. Let him know that this channel will help him out. Let him know that watching channels like mine and others will help him not make the same mistake twice. I don't want you guys to be hard on Dean. What happened, happened. The past is the past, but we want to help him going forward. This is another brother that's been hit hard by one of these modern day harpies, and we want to help him get through this and move on and come out stronger. So, help him out, guys, in the comment section. And be sure to like the video, share with your friends, and subscribe. And I'll catch you next time.